what do I always say? I'm not going to talk about politics, but literally my entire news feed is occupied by a photo. <laughs> and I'm sure you all know the photo that I'm talking about. It is, in fact, um, ex-president Donald Trump's mugshot. Historic Trump mugshot released after arrest in Atlanta. Weird news for the radio, isn't it? <laughs> a photograph. So I'm going to try and use my um, linguistic abilities to better describe it to you. If you're watching the show live, you're actually watching it on the screen right now. Or seeing it on the screen, sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, ha it's a photo of Donald Trump. Um, if I was going to describe it to you, it's like if the Grinch were orange, <laughs> you have a pretty good idea of what this photo looks like. It's kind of got the, the, the pose and the tilt of his head like a naughty schoolboy. It's kind of like the Venn diagram where naughty schoolboy and, um, and supervillain intersect. That's what, that's what you have in this photograph. <laughs> it's like Les, Lex Luthor was deflated slightly. That's, <laughs> so there you go. So let's break it. Let's get into this news from the BBC. Donald Trump has been arrested in Georgia on charges related to attempts to overturn the state's 2020 election results, marking the first time, this is actually historic, the first time a former US president has been photographed for a police booking. After posting a bail bond of $200,000, Jesus, more than a lot of us will earn in the next 10 years, uh, Trump labeled the situation a travesty of justice. Gonna build a wall around Georgia, and Georgia's gonna pay for it. <laughs> a travesty of justice. Justice. Um, this arrest is his fourth in five months. Jeez Louise. I had to think I've eaten pizza four times in five months. That is like a level of frequency. Is he a, di a little addicted to getting arrested? <laughs> to breaking the law. This arrest is his fourth in five months. Um, he later took to X, previously known as Twitter, to, um, to sh uh, share his photo with the caption, election interference, never surrender. Trump asserts that the case against him um, are politically driven given his position in the upcoming Republican race against President Joe Biden. I'm not going to comment on that, but I will comment on the photo, as I have. There it is. Um, if, you've, if you haven't seen this, by the way, all the links that I use in the show, I will post those to my Patreon for my um, my supporters so you can see them there. 